Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Neha, an artist and I'm here to teach you some really cool art activity which are going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this video is for the kids who are bored at home and they are disturbing their mommies and daddies. I'm sure you're gonna try it because we all are at home, we can't go out, we're done playing all indoor games and we are out of activities. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel to be updated with fun loaded activities. I'll be using the art supplies which are easily available at home. So not to worry because we can't go out because of coronavirus. Okay, let's sum up and let's talk about the activities you're gonna learn on my online classes. You will learn oil pastel technique, sponge painting on canvas and repainting on old canvas and much much more. Let's get started! Let's make some of fruits! To make these fruits, you will be needing oil pastel box, pencil, tissue box and a piece of white chart paper. Now I'm starting my drawing with a big rainbow shape. Now from one side, where I have put my pencil, you have to come down straight and around like an L shape. And from the other side, you have to go inside like a wave or a bumpy line, just one wave and connect it for, with the bottom line. Now I'm making it perfect like a mango and the stem. For the leaf, you just need to make one bumpy line on top and one bumpy line on bottom and just one line in the center. Now I'm taking light green, yellow and dark green oil pastel and start my shading with light green oil pastel starting from one side of the mango just like the way I'm doing it and a little bit on the bottom like this and some shades on top. taking yellow and I will color all over the mango. Do it slowly so that it doesn't go outside the lines. Now it's time to do blending with tissue paper. You have to roll your tissue paper just like this in your finger and start blending it in a circular way. Don't forget that you have to be really careful not to go outside the lines. Do it inside the mango like this and mix light green and yellow together. It will give a very nice shade of a real mango. After this I am doing dark green in the leaf and here I am not going to blend because it's a small space and if you're going to try to blend here it will give a very messy look so don't try in the small spaces now we are making grapes and we will start from the top part which is a rectangle and two slanty lines like a half triangle and I'm going to start with one and two circles then I'm going to add one circle in each line three circles then four circles and then again three two one now we're going to take brown blue and red and white oil pastel and we don't have purple shade in our oil pastel box so we're going to make purple with red and blue. I'm doing it on the corner of the page to show you how we can make purple color with two colors. We'll do red in all the circles and remember to make outline before coloring anything. And we have to leave some space in the center and then do it nicely and slowly with patience. 
my video is fast but you have to do it slowly and nicely with patience. And after doing red in all the circles we will take blue oil pastel and we will do right on top of the red color like this. And this also has to be slowly. Now I'm going to take white oil pastel but make sure your oil pastel is clean. So we have to clean it before using it. Now it's a perfect white. I'm going to do it on top of this red and blue shade. And now you can see the perfect purple color. I am mixing red and blue with white oil pastel to make a nice light purple color and can you see two shades in the circle one is lighter purple in the center and darker on the corners now you're going to repeat the steps in all the circles After doing it in all circles, you have to make it fine and do brown in the stick. Make a circle for the peach and this is the easiest route to draw. And we will make a curvy line in the center like this, like a moon shape. And we need orange and yellow oil pastel for this. So first I'm taking orange to outline the whole page, a dark outline. Even the center line, like this. Some shades on the top and some shade on the bottom side and a little bit on the corner and now I'm taking yellow oil pastel to do it on the whole peach even on the orange oil pastel like this going up and down and making sure not to go out of the line now I'm using the same technique for blending which is rolling the tissue paper and blending it up and down. This time I'm not doing in a circle way like this and mix yellow and orange to give beautiful shades of peach. Is it looking like a real peach? Now the last fruit is watermelon and for that we have to make a big circle. Now Figure out the center of the circle and make a straight line. Now we are going to make a bumpy line on top of the straight line and one bumpy line on the bottom. Repeat this step one more time. Now we are making the piece of watermelon and for that we have to make a straight line and a big U shape like a semicircle. Starting with the dark green color for outline of the big circle. Now I'm going to color the first part of the watermelon and then leaving one part for light green. blending with the tissue paper and why are we blending oil pastel with tissue paper the reason is that it looks 
neat and tidy and it gives a real look. Now doing it on the piece, starting with the dark green only on the U shape, not on the top part. Now we are going to take light green and we will do a little bit of light green together with the dark green. Don't leave any white space. Now I'm taking pencil and I'm leaving white space if you see carefully that I'm leaving a little bit space and making the same shape with pencil. Now I'm taking red and doing the same thing again leaving some white space. You will know why I'm leaving this white space after coloring the red part. Color it nicely. And now I'm going to take white oil pastel after cleaning it. Now if you see carefully, I'm mixing a little bit red and white space to make a lighter shade of red. It looks like pink. That was the reason I have left some space for lighter shade. And now we're going to make seeds with the pencil. And you're good to go. All the things are really easy to make if you're going to do step by step with me. And you can use the same technique for blending in anything you can draw. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Stay tuned for the next one.